Here he is, Mr. Gregory Cusack. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Greg Cusack. Thank you for the introduction. I am a PhD student at CU Boulder, uh, and I'm here to give you a quick insight into the world of computer hacking. Uh, and security, okay? Uh, and so I'm basically like a cybersecurity ninja, according to my mom. Uh, so you actually better pay attention, because if I see you dozing off, don't think I won't hack you, okay? I'm 0% above that level of pettiness. Speaking of which, this guy over here, he gave me a weird look when I walked in. And you know what? I didn't really appreciate that. And so while you've been laughing at these great jokes, these great jokes, you've been doing a great job laughing, you know, I've been in the back. I've been coding away, hacking, beep, boop, beep. You're hacked now, he's hacked. And you know what I found? This guy bought 16 Himalayan black bear sculptures off of eBay last week. <laughs> Could have gotten free shipping on Amazon. Jeez. Okay, okay, we're, we gotta talk about hacking here. We've seen a lot of attacks in the news recently. We saw, of course, everybody's seen the Equifax breach. I mean, basically, your information is the Declaration of Independence. The hackers are Nick Cage. They just stole it, okay? <laughs> and uh, we saw the Ashley Madison data leak. That one's super fun. We all love that. Uh, Ashley Madison's a website for, that helps married people cheat on their spouses with other married people. Um, great stuff. Uh, and then we've also seen a lot of vulnerabilities in IoT technologies, IoT devices. And IoT is Internet of Things. Uh, so your Samsung smart fridge, that's IoT. Your Nest thermostat, that's IoT. Uh, and one such device uh, that was found to be very vulnerable uh, were IoT-enabled vibrators. Um, and, okay, so, yeah, first, okay, yeah. <laughs> who, who thought that was a good idea? Okay, if we were in the meeting here, there's a guy and he's like, you know that very public thing that billions of people access every day? Let's connect our sex toys to it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, no, but seriously, this company, like, it's, it's like Vibratismo or something. It was found that a bunch of their uh, sex toys, their vibrators, their dildos, uh, were basically could be taken control of remotely by anybody. Um, so, look, 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 look. I'm not a huge dildo guy. Um, <laughs> Small, small dildo guy. Uh, but um, internet of dildos, that sounds bad. Okay. So, but, okay, what, what are companies doing about this, right? So we've seen all this stuff happening. How are they actually being proactive to protect your data? Well, one thing they're doing, among other things, is they're putting these massive boxes in front of their networks, okay? And what's inside these boxes are neural networks, okay? And neural networks basically, in this case, their goal is to just differentiate between benign traffic, benign internet traffic, and malicious internet traffic. Uh, so in the case of Instagram, uh, the neural network would learn what like scrolling looks like, what uploading looks like, uh, and then anything that deviates from that is considered malicious, okay? And so this is basically how it works for neural networks. But to really understand uh, neural networks, I'm gonna explain it to you. Uh, we get to talk about dogs. So this is like the highlight of the show right here. Uh, my set, the rest of it, no, this is like, my set is the worst part of the show, but the rest of the people, much more. Um, so we get to learn about dogs. So uh, neural networks learn very, uh, how they learn is very similar to how babies learn about dogs. And so we have cute little Bob, he's two years old. He's in the park with his parents and they're having a great time. Bob's getting his tan on. He's got Coachella 2020 coming up. Uh, probably gonna get skin cancer when he's older, worth it. Um, and so uh, Bob's parents point out dogs to him in the park and they say, hey Bob, that's a dog, that's a dog, that's a dog. And Bob eventually learns specific characteristics of dogs. He says, okay, dogs have ears, snout, and they're furry. And this is great, because then he can use these characteristics to help him identify other dogs in the future. And this is the same way neural networks learn, right? So we can feed them images of dogs, and they learn, okay, ears, snout, furry, and then we feed them a new image of a dog, and they say, hey, that's a dog. It's never, they've never seen it, that dog before, but they can still identify it as a dog. Okay, and this is exactly, like I mentioned, how neural networks work. They learn the characteristics of benign traffic and then anything that, devi that 
don't have anything that doesn't have those characteristics is considered malicious or at least flagged. Okay, we have an issue here though. And so we're gonna go back to Bob for a second. Okay, so Bob, two years old, and he's you know in his backyard for some reason you know unsupervised. Uh, I don't know in this m made up world of Bob, his parents are completely irresponsible. Um, his parents are in the back, or no, he, no, his parents are gone. Uh, he's in the backyard and he sees a wolf. Okay, but he's never seen a wolf before, so he's like, oh my god, what is this animal? And he goes, okay, ears, snout, furry, oh my god. 14 out of 10 doggo, gonna go pet. And so he does, but then he dies, right? Because it's a wolf. Um, no, 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 he's just, he's just now permanently disabled. Um, um, and no, but, but the point here is that um, neural networks are also vulnerable to this attack. And I say attack here because there are people out here actively trying to make wolves look like dogs. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, and why does it matter? Think about a self-driving car. Self-driving cars have neural networks in them, and they use them to identify things around them, like stop signs, right? And for the most part, this actually works really well. In the general case, it sees a stop sign, neural network tells the car to stop, great. But then we have some dickhead, Chad, who comes along, and he's like, you know what, fuck this car, and he puts a little sticker on the stop sign. Tiny little sticker, and as a human, we're like, oh, that's a stop sign with a sticker on it. Okay, we'll stop. But neural networks don't exactly work how our brains work fully, and it will look at the stop sign, and it may say, hey, that stop sign with that sticker, oh, that's a speed limit sign. And it just blasts through the intersection. And, I mean, could you imagine if there was like a dog crossing the street, crossing the street right there? Um, like that, that's why there's so much research going into this. We gotta save the dogs, okay? And so basically the idea is that there's a lot of research, a lot of the research I do is how do we protect you, how do we protect the Instagram influencer from getting hacked and getting their information stolen in the face of adversaries who know these neural networks exist and who are actively trying to bypass them. So if you take two things away from this, one is Neural networks kind of learn how babies learn about dogs. And number two, for the love of God, do not connect your sex toys to the internet. Thank you very much. I got involved with Science Riot back in April where I gave a talk that was similar to this where I was just talking about basically my research in kind of a fun open discussion way and someone who had done Science Riot before told me I should come and sign up for this. So I did. I think it's important to provide scientific information or at least, you know, displace or talk about science in a fun way because so much of it is written down in papers that no one ever reads. And so I think to, you know, get people to talk about science and see that can be fun, you know, is good. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about computer security and network hacking and kind of how people get hacked and how we defend against that. My name is Greg Cusack and I am a PhD student at University of Colorado Boulder.